Do you ever wonder why your stir fry does not turn out as good as the restaurant's even when you have all the right ingredients? And do you feel like something is just missing but you really can't pinpoint exactly what it is? What's missing is most likely wok hay. What is wok hay and how can you get it? I am going to tell you all about that today. Wok hay is a Cantonese term and it literally means the breadth of the wok. It is achieved by cooking food at extremely high temperature in the wok. That process chars and caramelizes the food and gives it a very complex smoky flavor and it adds so much depth to the food beyond just a smoky flavor and it makes the food just taste so delicious. So how can you achieve wok hay at home in your stir fry? There are three things you need to do. One, use a seasoned carbon steel wok. Carbon steel conducts heat fast and is the best type of wok if you want to get wok hay. Two, use good quality cooking oil with a high burning point. My favorite is peanut oil because it adds a nutty flavor to the food. Three, don't overcrowd the wok. If you try to cook too much food at one time, you will end up steaming the food. What I have here is a 13 inch wok. I would not cook more than eight ounces of food at one time. So enough talking. Let me show you how to achieve wok hay by cooking these vegetables. First, make sure the wok is very, very hot. Place the wok on the most powerful burner and turn on the highest heat for at least two minutes. You should see smoke before and after adding oil to the wok. Use a generous amount of oil for best results. Add vegetables to the wok, you should hear it sizzling. Cooking stir fries at home is different from cooking in the restaurants. Restaurant gas stoves are 10 times more powerful on average than home gas stoves. And restaurant gas stoves heat all around the wok, bottom and sides. But the home gas stove only heats the bottom with less power. So when cooking stir fries at home, you should make sure food is evenly distributed on the bottom of the wok and not overcrowded. If you have a lot of food, cook them in small batches for best results. Also, food needs more time to be browned and caramelized. So resist the urge to constantly stir. I know it looks super cool when the restaurant chef does it. Restaurant chefs stir the food constantly because their gas stove is so powerful and food would be burned if they're not constantly stirred. Most of us don't have stoves that powerful at home, so we need to let the food cook undisturbed for five to 10 seconds between stirs for wok hay to develop. You should not see moisture build up in the wok. If you do, that means there is too much food or it is not hot enough. You should reduce the quantity or crank up the heat. This part of the video is not cut short or sped up so you can see in real time how long it takes for wok hay to develop on these vegetables. The total cooking time is about three and a half minutes.
How do you know if you have achieved wok hei? When you see food develop beautiful char marks and golden brown spots like this, you should see the same on meat as well. By following these tips and practice your wok foo, you'll be whipping up restaurant-worthy stir fries in no time. Remember, patience and a little heat goes a long way in unlocking the secrets of wok hei. Don't forget to check out my stir fry recipes for practicing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.